So let's stay in nodes for a bit and let's talk about compositing using alpha nodes. And so we're going to use a little bit of a different clip here. If you take a look, we're going to use uh, the burden for Da Vinci, Vinci chroma, chroma key. key. And so, uh, let's take a look with that footage and how we're going to use it. Okay, uh, what I got here, a little green screen. It's nothing really heavy, but Da Vinci allows us to see this in the uh, chroma key mode. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, in my first node, richen and balance this up a little bit. I'm going to come back here and use my my parade scope, just to help me out there a little bit to see what I got going. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just keep them on a cool side and we'll just warm, we'll just bring up a little bit more saturation in that and somewhere about in that area. I'll say I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to add a serial node for this, right? So because what I want to do next, I want to beef up the green in the chroma key, right? So I'm going to come over here and enter my serial node. You're just using your keyboard to that's, add those serial that's nodes. That's all I really did. That's and way to do so it. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the qualifier, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn my highlight node on so I can actually take my color picker and see what I get here. And as you see, I'm going to get a pretty decent green. Now, this isn't the final chroma key, but this is just so we can see what it all looks like together. So I'm just going to leave this the way it is right there. And it's a nice, happy green. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to come back over here and use my green gamma just to help that out a little bit. Sure, make it a little easier to key. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another node right here, another serial node. And I'm going to connect the actual key out for my chroma key right here. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to shrink this window down so we can see everything there. This is the important part right now. I'm going to add an alpha output. I'm going to connect that right to here. Oops, I'll go from this node point to there. <laughs> there it is. There we okay. go. And as you see, as soon as I did that, what popped up right into here is the actual clip that goes along in there. Uh, if I just actually play this, you'll notice that there's a live action inside the watch of that. And then the next scene is also in there. So let's go back to that and take a look at something right here. And you'll notice that the composite of this one is actually the um, robot throwing. So if I really want to see just that clip by itself, I can come up and select the unmix, okay, and go to my clip, which is right there. You see I have that reduced way back so it fits into the watch. Zoomed back out. Zoomed back out, yes. yes. Pulled out so I can see everybody. If I hit loop on this, come back over here, position this back to the right a little bit. Oh, it's too far over still. I'm going to just hit play on this, let it go. But you'll see it actually play in context there. And it actually, it's really the first time that I've been able to work on a composite during my color correcting sessions, you know, going back a number of years with film the tape color corrections. And it's like you do your best guess. You try to get it as good as possible. You set up a chroma key in the switcher. But this is really a sweet mode to to, uh, to go work in. Because so. it allows you to see contextually what you're, you're grading. You're able to look at the image and see, oh, you know, because of the hand is there and the robot is there inside the stopwatch, it looks too cool or too warm. In the old days, you wouldn't have been able to see them together in context. And now that you can see them together in context, context, it helps you to um, make the best grades of both the outside the alpha and inside the alpha. Yeah, and if, actually, if I wanted to come into uh, here, and if I can actually, I'll make a new version of this color correction, I'm just going to right click and say create new version, and I'm just going to say uh, number two for this and say enter. And what I want to do now is, you know, maybe that's a little bit too bright for me. Maybe I need to come back and pull it down. Maybe I might want to warm it up or something. What I wanted to show you was the ability... And you're, you're grading inside of the key right now. Inside of the key using the panel so you're not seeing anything else happening on here. But that allows me to see and know right away if it's going to fit or not. And then I render everything out. Not a composite, but everyone in their own elements. And then the editors can put it together. Perfect. And in the uh, node application section, and a couple of chapters from where we are now, we're going to continue with the same sequence showing you how to... Um, use multiple nodes together and really how that applies.